friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Rescuer braces for the worst after spotting kitten on the side of the road, then sees a paw move. Written by Adam Staten, read by Giovanni Johnson. A rescuer braced for the worst after spotting a kitten on the side of the road, but then saw a paw move. This world is a sad, lonely, and broken place. It's full of people who are hurting and struggling, calling out for help. Most are going through life badly, desperately needing some relief. A sign to show that all the hurt and sorrow will end eventually. Unfortunately, most situations are without hope. People are left to fend for themselves as their hurt and desperation grow. But there is one, Jesus Christ, the only hope for a lost and broken world. He can inject life into hopeless situations and bring revival where it seemed impossible. According to the Dodo, Donald and Aggie Cooper provided a little hope to a hurting and struggling kitten on the side of the road. The couple was going from Texas to Pennsylvania when they saw something along the highway that made them stop and turn around. The outlet reports that Donald spotted what he thought was a little ball of fur on the side of the road and decided to turn their van around to investigate the situation. Aggie got out of the vehicle and walked up to the ball of fur. I had to get out to check on the kitten because it was too dangerous for him, Aggie said. The cars were passing our van so close and fast it was shaking the whole van. Sadly, lying next to the kitten was his deceased mother. Aggie knew that there was little hope that the kitten would be alive. However, surprisingly, there were still signs of life. I touched the kitten to see if he was alive, Aggie said. When I did, I saw his little paw move, and that's when I picked him up. After rescuing the kitten from the side of the road, Donald and Aggie named the furry creature and decided upon mile marker 14, Interstate 70 East, Ohio. Of course, that's a lot for anyone to say every time they want to get the kitten's attention. So they just call him Mile. After rescuing the animal from the side of the road, The Coopers continued their road trip with their passengers, including six dogs and now a tiny kitten. The dogs and Miles became fast friends and formed quick and strong bond. They quickly learned to accept him and realized he was one of the pack, Aggie said. Now the kitten thinks he is a dog and has no fear of them. He plays with our foster dogs who adore him and shower him with affection. The outlet reports that Miles, now a healthy and happy seven-week-old kitten, is looking for his forever home. Now I realize how important it is to check every animal that looks dead on the side of the road, Aggie said. If we hadn't turned around and stopped, I don't think the kitten would have made it. How often have we been in a position similar to Miles's? We find ourselves in a lost and hopeless situation, but because of God's faithfulness, love and grace. He comes along and rescues us, providing us with hope and a future. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Jeremiah 29, 11. These former conjoined twins finally go home after their first birthday. Written by Adam Staten, read by Giovanni Johnson. These former conjoined twins finally went home after their first birthday. There are a lot of evil, disgusting, and straight-up vile things that happen in our world today. However, on the other hand, stunning, awe-inspiring good things also take place. Some of what occurs will leave your jaw open in amazement and disbelief. The medical field is likely the field that will consistently have you stunned. Doctors and nurses can do some rather incredible, life-changing things, and they do so every day. An entire field of medicine studies and examines our genes and chromosomes. 
Through these studies, scientists and doctors can better treat and possibly prevent people from developing diseases or conditions. Medical science has even reached the point where operations have been performed on children who haven't even been born while the baby is still inside the mother. Twins Amari and Javar Ruffin are a perfect example of how far science and medicine have progressed. Amari and Javar were born conjoined. According to People, the two children shared the lowest part of their sternum, diaphragm, abdominal wall, and liver. But after undergoing an intense eight-hour surgery, the two young men have been separated. They even went home in early October right after their first birthday. The outlet reports that doctors understood that they were conjoined even before Amari and Javar were born on September 29, 2023. Soon after their birth, doctors and nurses at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia started preparations for the surgery to separate the children. They prepared, practicing nearly everything imaginable for 10 months before the surgery, which happened on August 21st. The children's parents, Tim and Shanika, are eternally grateful for the CHOP team of doctors and nurses. We are so grateful to CHOP for helping make this day possible and letting us start this next chapter, Shanika said in a statement. Shanika mentioned that seeing the two children in separate beds was an indescribable feeling. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production.